Imagine putting on tightly laced basketball shoes every day for hours at a time for, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 years straight at a minimum. What do you think your feet will feel like? Would they be normal looking? Would they be deformed? Would you have any foot pain? I don't know, but what I do know is that NBA players wear basketball shoes for most of their lives and some of them have really deformed feet. Here we have James Harden, back when he was on the Rockets, getting ready for shoot around before a game. He was caught putting on his sock and his gnarly feet can be seen. His toes are all bunched together, I'm guessing from being in shoes all the time, and his toenails have seen better days for sure. This nasty foot belongs to Dallas Mavericks assistant coach Daryl Armstrong. However, this picture was taken when he played on the Mavs. Armstrong had a 17 year basketball career. 13 of which were in the NBA on the Magic, New Orleans Hornets, Mavs, Pacers, and Nets. As you can see from this picture, courtesy of Dirk, his foot is so worn out that his big toe is under the second toe on his foot. He also has a massive bunion on the side of his foot, and his toenails are definitely in rough shape. Current Clippers guard Reggie Jackson also is a big sufferer of baller foot. His former Pistons teammate, Andre Drummond, took a video and even hummed the Jaws theme song to it because his feet look like they belong to a killer beast. Those toenails look like they're rotting. Yikes. LeBron James has been a popular player in the league, so there are a few pictures of his deformed feet. Probably the most well known is him at the beach, where it's clear his toes are all bunched up in the middle of his foot and his pinky toe is practically on top of the one next to it. This same phenomenon can be seen on the trainer's table when he was being worked on by a Miami Heat staff member. This last picture shows his other foot, which doesn't look as rough as the other, but definitely has a unique shape. It reminds me of the shape of a Nike LeBron 16 Four Horseman model number CI7862-001. It's weird that a foot can be molded to fit a shoe perfectly. The NBA world was blessed again when 2012 Evan Turner, at the time part of the Sixers, posted a picture of an anonymous teammate's toes. These either belonged to Jason Richardson, Royal Ivy, Drew Holiday, Kwame Brown, or maybe Spencer Hawes. Who do you think it is? It's a mystery to this day, but my money is Spencer Hawes. Calling them critters is accurate in my opinion, and I guess this is the type of stuff people posted on the gram back in the day. Outside of being the best center in the NBA, Joel Embiid's feet can also compete in being some of the grossest in NBA history. His toenails are nasty, and those smaller toes are hanging on for dear life. Even the foot connoisseurs at Inside the NBA did a poll comparing Embiid's feet to Shaq's, but fans didn't think his were as bad. Speaking of Shaq, he probably holds the title for nastiest feet of all time, and unfortunately for us, he has created a lot of content about them. You have the boy. Yeah, you have the baby, yeah. I'm seeing platinum on them toes. Bow. Platinum. Platinum bow. Most of these feet were bad, but looking at Shaq's feet truly make me nauseous. He seems to get a lot of pedicures in his post NBA life, but I don't think these nail salon workers are magicians, so I'm not sure how much they're actually going to be able to help. On the topic of pedicures, it seems like some NBA players have caught on to how their profession affects their feet because there have been an increased trend of ballers getting pedicures. Going to the nail salon is usually considered a woman's activity, but has become more socially acceptable in NBA circles. Former NBA player Nate Robinson was one of the first guys to publicly showcase himself receiving a pedicure on Instagram back in 2014. Other players like Jonathan Simmons, Jason Smith, Harry Giles, and De'Aaron Fox have gone on record of expressing their use of pedicures. DJ Augustine told reporters, quote, I've had situations before with my toenails or the calluses on my feet. They would hurt my feet during games. It makes a big difference, end quote. Former player and now coach Scott Brooks expressed, quote, I never wanted to get them done because you're embarrassed of your toes. I mean, they're a combination of dead toenails, hammer toes, I would imagine all basketball players have bad toenails, just from the shoes and all the running and stopping and starting, end quote. Wayne Ellington said, quote, I need one, end quote, in reference to his pedicures as he gazed at the toes on his right foot that had turned midnight black from years of taking a beating. 
Early on in his career, Evan Turner heard stories of the GOAT Michael Jordan getting pedicures, which inspired him. Former player Amir Johnson started getting pedicures when he walked by a nail salon back in high school and saw the late comedian and actor Bernie Mac soaking his feet in a tub. DeAndre Jordan's hero, Terrell Owens, was big into manicures and pedicures, which finally got him into the practice of taking care of his feet. Other players have been inspired by Shaq, Dwayne Wade, and LeBron. Pedicures for basketball players isn't only a relaxing activity, it is backed by science as being a vital form of care to prolong MBA careers and improve performance. The American Academy of Pediatric Sports Medicine has noticed how wearing new shoes constantly, which NBA players do a lot, can partially explain the trauma on players' feet. The shoes never quite break in, so the skin around the foot has to grow thick layers to absorb the excessive stopping and starting on the court. Over time, the pressure causes calluses to build up on the bottom of the foot and painful ingrown toenails to also develop. Pedicures help to fix ingrown toenails and soften the skin, which helps basketball players with their foot health. The knowledge is spreading so quickly around the league that the Atlanta Hawks player development staff hosts a player spa day, and I'm sure other teams do something similar as well. So as you can see, one of the possible side effects of getting into the NBA is having some nasty feet. But there are some techniques that future players can take to prevent their feet from looking like this. Anyway guys, please like this video because it was tough for me to look at all these hooves while making it. And maybe one of these videos is interesting to you. Click on it and find out.